up in my office and looked downstairs just to see about 15 cop cars. Saw them with shields run into the building, so it was a little chaotic. Bullets flying in the loop as commuters headed for afternoon trains. It was a terrifying scene. A bank robber opening fire and leaving a trail of cash as he made his getaway. Casey Cronus is live in the loop with the very latest. Tian Anthony, that suspect is still on the loose at this hour after police say he robbed Fifth Third Bank, shot a security guard and fled with a bag of cash. Yep, yep, running with cash. Oh my God. An afternoon heist ends in a shootout at the corner of Wacker and Madison. All of a sudden I heard um, a loud noise, a couple of pop, 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 uh, about five or six. Um, what sounded like gunshots. Those sounds sent Dominic Modrievsky rushing to his office window. I saw a gunman shooting at the door right there. I started kind of recording uh, him as he was getting away. Um, there was money flying everywhere. Shattered glass and shell casings were the aftermath. Absolutely crazy. I mean, we walked to Starbucks. We walked to get lunch just in broad daylight. You don't expect things like that to happen. So really sad. Glad that he isn't hurt, but crazy. Officials say just before 3 p.m., the suspect left the bank and was confronted by a 59-year-old security guard. Police say the bank robber opened fire, shooting the guard in the hand. The security guard, who was later seen talking with investigators, fired back with his duty weapon. Male one, black coat, red hat, blue jeans, dark shoes. He's got a bag in his hand and he went eastbound on Madison. The FBI released this photo of the brazen suspect who, with an unknown amount of cash, got away, leaving a chaotic scene in the loop with onlookers captivated by the ordeal. I'm from Texas, so, I mean, this doesn't happen too often. <laughs> no one else was injured. And crews are out right now boarding up the bank. Meantime, Metra officials confirm that Ogilvy, which is only about a block away, was shut down for a police sweep this afternoon. It reopened after about 30 minutes when an all clear was given. Reporting live in the loop, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.